Well, this... This is perfect. Invite me to dinner Thursday night. Come on, we haven't had a nice meal together since so... Yesterday, when I loaned you $5,000 to buy a new car. My treat. Two-wheeled vehicles that travel 150 miles an hour don't really go well with crippled, irresponsible drug addicts. Actually, two-wheeled vehicles that go 180 miles an hour do not go well with healthy, responsible architects who don't know how to separate braking and turning. Good news is, break the price right down. You're taking it back. Mom! How about we talk about this over dinner? Forget dinner. You're gonna kill yourself. Nice bike. Thank you. See, that's how you do it. Compliments, dinner. What do you do with your cane? If he buys me dinner, he'll find out. Evil Knievel had the same setup. And he broke every bone in his body. We went through all the imaging studies and redid blood culture. I don't want hand-me-downs. I want brand new stuff. Well, there's nothing. There's nothing missing. Sorry, I didn't catch that last part. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing else we can do. Check the police report on what? On his mom's car accident. That was 15 years ago. The kid wasn't even in the car. She veered off a straight, dry road in broad daylight. It doesn't seem odd to you. She probably got distracted changing radio stations or something. That's what the police thought. Of course, they didn't know that she has a family member who is frequently incapacitated by shock-like sensations. The genetic component seems unlikely. It's interesting. Type 2 neurofibromatosis could cause the shocks. You knew this was missing? something was missing. Maybe this, maybe something else. Get a DNA analysis of the long arm of chromosome 22. You'd rather have dinner with your wife? Yes, I would. If she were speaking to me. Unlike her, I can make it worth your while. Fine. Should I drive? Uh, no. And... I'm not letting you in my car until I see your wallet. 